Joining us now is Jonathan. Welcome to the show. How are you? Thank you. I'm very good and I'm very glad to be here. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here with you too. You have had such an interesting background. At what age did you realize that your vocal cords, your instrument, were going to be of um, use to you or that they were unique? Like at what age did you start singing? Like la 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 la. I don't know. Like, <laughs> how did you know? <laughs> well, uh, 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 Technically, I started to study when I was uh, 16 because that is the age, uh, appropriate age to start to study music. Uh, early, it just uh, can be dangerous if you're not uh, in the end of the experts. But at nine years old, I was uh, uh, um, learning piano uh, from a nun and uh, I was vocalizing because I, I like it, uh, I heard uh, uh, records of Luciano Pavarotti and uh, I fell in love for this music. The energy of that music uh, moved me. And I said, why I feel like that? Well, in the world. So I start to uh, mock uh, Luciano Pavarotti and uh, with Una Furtiva Lacrima and uh, still today, one of my favorite areas. And so, uh, and then uh, the nuns say, I think you are a tenor. I said, what I am? I said, I don't know. What is that? And she's explained me. And at 12, I was already singing for funeral and weddings. Oh. I was kind of a little prodigy. And I remember my second or third funeral, uh, some American man from Nashville, Tennessee, hand me uh, 50 mila lire, the, the old uh, Italian lire. I say, why you give me this? And he told me that you've done a great job and you're supposed to be paid for it. You have amazing voice. So I connect money, singing. Okay, that's what I want to do for a living. <laughs> and that's how you knew. Yeah, I got to sing at a wedding once and I loved it. I sang um, Ave Maria. And I sang yeah, all like, right. these songs, right? And I felt I haven't sang at a funeral before, but I've given other people's eulogies. People have hired me to give eulogies. I feel like at those times when you can add music to those special moments, whether it's a wedding or a funeral or a celebration of life, it's, um, it's so important. There's something about it. I don't know if you feel the same way. It's like to use yeah. your gifts in that way is, I don't know, like a blessing on yourself in a way. Yeah, he's uh, for. for for myself, is uh, it's not just a performance where I, I you know, I, I blow hair on my mouth, you know, and I deliver the song. Is the energy like I, I was telling before? Is the uh, the magic uh, what I call of of music? Because uh, especially my 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 kind of music opera is a uh, two hundred years old and more, and. Uh, um, is really healing my 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 soul as a person, as a as a musician, but also I see people uh, feel moved. And sometimes in this world of chaos and speed and rushing, my music bring that calm down people, and that's it why it does. Yeah, I do what I do. And and Christmas, I I you know yeah, it's such a good time. Um, and you have this this wonderful new music that you're bringing forth. Tell us about that process. What do you what do you have in yes. store for us? So last year uh, I, I was a little bit late, but uh, uh, my producer uh, Thomas Gramulia uh, he convinced me to to make my own Italian album. I said, Jonathan, you sing so beautifully in Italian. The same song we sing in in English of uh, Christmas tradition. So I said, why you don't put, um, put together your orchestra in Italy and do something Italian? So I said, listen, I want to, uh, you know, I want to celebrate my heritage, but also I, I want to, because I'm an American, I want to bless my, my, my country too. So let's do it Christmas con amore, with love, and put together this wonderful song. So the album is, uh, English, Spanish, French, Italian. So wow. every language I, I could put together because uh, in all, all the world, once in a year, we celebrate 
the same fantastic time of Christmas um, for you know or for Christian if for Christian people is the the born the, uh, the day of born of our Jesus Christ and uh, for the rest of the world is just a holiday season so we put together and we celebrate it because maybe especially in today uh, we need to be better people <laughs> we, we certainly are, should thrive towards that is there one yeah. song in particular that you feel is like your a home run for you? Something that you just like, that's your favorite? I know it's hard. It's like picking babies, right? I like, you know, you have a lot of yeah. children. It's like, which one's your favorite, right? <laughs> they rotate. But, but, Maybe one's your favorite yeah. today, something else your favorite tomorrow. But for you personally, okay. is there one that you just love? Yeah, the, in the album, uh, there is my version produced by Alan Parson Project, uh, Grown Up Christmas List. Uh, it, that is a beautiful song. Again, uh, I, I remember Tom Brooks, by the way, is from um, uh, St. Louis, Missouri, uh, is my producer. And he said, Jonathan, why you don't do Grown Up Christmas List? I know Amy Grant. She was the first to produce the song written by David Foster. So we did this, this wonderful production we did in July in uh, Santa Barbara, <laughs> California was hot so <laughs> i said guys i don't feel well to sing the song in christmas song in july you know so we we moved a little bit uh, and uh, we did so grown up christmas list he uh, he collect the beauty of christmas in many many ways uh and uh, even the and the prey of this little kid singing uh, my grown up christmas list but he's an adult say i don't want gift I want something more precious than gift. Peace, love, and uh, uh, gratitude for uh, what we live in, basically. I love that. When you're practicing at home, do you sing in the shower? Like, do you have a studio at home? Like, where do you practice? No, thank In the car <laughs> when you're God. driving? <laughs> no, thank God I have a professional studio uh, attached to my house uh, because, again, uh, singing is daily based my job. So basically, I don't have a practice time. Every day is a, is a challenge for me. So even when I woke up and, <clears throat> and I'm not good, I need to keep going and make things happen. Uh, for sure, I have a better moment. And uh, having the studio home is helping me a lot. So when I'm ready, I can go downstairs recording and move on. And that's uh, what I do. Um, I try to keep uh, my job in the basement where is the studio uh, because and of course when my kids are here sometimes they ask me dad can you sing a song for us or, or I can serenade my wife from the kitchen during she washing dishes because I'm the chef <laughs> so <laughs> so all this so I love what I do and the music live in my soul sometimes at the airport I risk to get arrested because I have the headphone and I'm humming uh, the song I'm going to sing in the concert, and I forget I'm at the airport. But uh -huh. opera music is very driving. So sometimes people start I, gathering. I Jonathan, people start gathering around you, and they're like, "What? Who, who's this guy? Who's this guy with this incredible voice? He must be somebody." I, swear, uh, I was. Uh, I remember I was in a terminal. I think in Amsterdam it was nobody there. So I had my head from close my eyes. I start to sing my song. I opened my eyes and uh, a lot of was a bunch of people around me was uh, hilarious. <laughs> that, there you go, a spontaneous concert. Are you going to be traveling? Are you going to be performing live at some places, some venues? Yes. Um, okay. um, in a couple of weeks, uh, actually for Thanksgiving, I have the honor to, uh, to debut in Italy with uh, Tyler Michael Smith, the son of Michael and with a fantastic tour called Amazing Worship Tour. And we bring with me also my new album, Romantico, who's collecting 16 of the most romantic song ever recorded in Hollywood movie, Love Stories. So Love Story, uh, Can't Help a Fall in Love, uh, Godfather Music, uh, uh, Besame Mucho, Amapola, beautiful album, great collaboration. Uh, again, in a moment of uh, where the world run and they don't know why, there's a moment for reflection. And 
I've been saying to everyone, this romantic album has been my, uh, in my bucket list for so long. And finally, this year, I put, I put together a fantastic team and uh, everything became reality. I'm very, very happy. I love that. So the singing chef, because you, you, you're singing to your wife yes. in the kitchen. I love that. Uh, what is your favorite yeah. dish? What, what is your favorite dish to make? Do you make gnocchi from scratch? Like, what do you make? What do you make yeah, that's so good? All the, all the, I go in Italy every other month. I'm very lucky in that way. So I bring with me flowers, uh, you know, from uh, my region. Uh, so everything, I, I try to keep uh, uh, kosher and uh, uh, original my food. So all my pasta with eggs. Uh, I have my neighbor, she has a uh, chicken. So she give me fresh eggs. We try to keep tradition, Italian tradition. I'm teaching this to my kids. And why not? Adding music is some magic. I, I don't like TV during in uh, dinner time. We already have so little time with the family. Yes, yes. Why wasting your time uh, watching stupid, uh, nonsense TV? Right. So we have this tradition, especially when uh, uh, all my kids are home for uh, from the job or vacation or or from school, uh, we do, we cook an Italian meal uh, and we bake a fresh bread. I have a channel called uh, JCF, the Mob Chef. Uh, not to celebrate mob, it's just a, a, a nice way to say, this is my way to do my, my recipe, this is why. I, I don't listen to nobody. I have my own way to do it. I've been alive for so long. We survived <laughs> as a species without follow this big chef around the world. And uh, if you, you told me your grandpa was a chef. Yes, my grandpa was a We are simple. Yeah. yeah. Our, our, our rules is very simple. Be simple. Uh, alteration of the food that beyond, yeah, uh, beyond, it doesn't make sense. A tomato need to taste as a tom like a tomato. Uh, <laughs> you know, I. Pasta doesn't need to smell like orange. Otherwise, you know, going to be a fruit. So we try, I try to keep uh, the Italian recipe as, as of the book, simple. That is nice. the rules. So now the next time I'm going to put on your romantic uh, CD and I'm going to be cooking in my kitchen and I'm going to be a little of this, Please do it. a little of that, stirring it up, making a little love with good food, right? I mean, it, it, yeah. it couldn't be better. So I think, Yeah, you Jonathan, can tag me on. You can tag me on JCF, the mob chef, and I want to listen to the music. I will tag you back. Donna, it was a pleasure to be here with you. Thank you so much. Oh, it was so nice to be with you here. Um, happy journeys to you. Continued success on your journey. You know, may, may all the blessings come to you um, for your vocal cords and from your diaphragm. May your head to your toe and fingertip, the fingertip be blessed. Thank you so much. So that the gift of music can go forth. So thank you, Jonathan. Ciao. I appreciate it. <laughs> nice. Ciao, nice ciao. Nice to have you here. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Bye. Mwah.